This video brought to you in part by these fantastic Patreons. Patreons are the lifeblood and the backbone of this channel and help with doing fantastic giveaways like the one in the description. Hey guys, what's up? Shotgun Shogun here, and we are going to be unboxing the Season 2 of the Fate Grand Order Duel. Now, I did unbox the first season, the first run of them, and I will link to that video if you guys want to see that. But this is five new figures. Over here on the side, you see the ones that you have the ability to get. That is Jean Karna. Uriel, Caster Giles, and Asterios. So this, obviously there's not five figures in here. Otherwise there would be very awkward, awkwardly shaped boxes to fit five in here. So in a box you get six. Now, like the previous box, apparently the super ultra rare is Saber Willy. That is what I have been hearing from uh, the internet on the second box. So let's see if our gotcha luck holds still and we get a second Saber Lily. Um, but it would be nice to get actually two Karnas. I would be a big fan of that because I like Karna. Karna is really good. So as expected, we have six. Now the Fate Duel Boxes, these you can find usually from anywhere from $15 to $20, give or take. Um, usually if you find them at anime conventions, they're going to be about $20. Uh, you can find them at some various places on the internet for less. Uh, once they are actually out, uh, it will be a lot harder to find them for $15 chances are you're going to have to find them for 20 Personally, if you want the whole set, I would 100% uh, suggest buying a full box. A lot of places will, you know, will sell them, but it'll be individual boxes. Don't ever, if you want the whole thing, don't ever buy an unsealed box because chances are, uh, you know, a sealed box is going to have all of them plus one. And if you get lucky, you can get, like, you know, if you have a Karna or something like that, you can put it up on eBay, sell it, recoup at least, like, a little bit of your money out of it. I know that uh, in the first run, if you had, like, a King Hassan, um, something like that, you could usually, Gilgamesh would, uh, would net you back at least, like, 25 to $30 of your investment into the set. Now, the nice thing about these, uh, and if you watch the first video that I did, these are actually really decent budget figures outside of the game itself. And um, I haven't played the game because I don't really have anybody besides Camera Guy Ryan who comes over to my house. Um, so, yeah. So, and I don't play, I'm not going to play the game by myself. I actually I probably should. But, anyways. Um, if you're looking for like nice small budget figures, uh, these aren't these really aren't that bad. The detail on them for their size is actually really good. And let's see what we pull first, and it is going to be Uriel. So let's take a look at this one, and we will. Uh, I don't want to break anything, so let's just cut this open now. Uh, again, so already, um, looking at this, we've already got another set of them that this is already a nice, very detailed uh, minifig. And like I said, for um, for $15, you know, this is a nice budget figure. Uh, there's a lot of detail in this dress. There's nice color gradient uh, down through the dress itself. The front is actually very nicely detailed. The hair is pretty decent for the size. Actually, if you get a look in here, like real close on the hair, you can see that they actually have like the hash marks across, which is actually surprising because even a lot of like bigger figures don't actually take the time out to do that. And they're just like, boom, here's, you know, just some random hair. So they definitely put in a decent amount of work on that. The headband is really nicely detailed. Um, so overall, this is actually a really nice Uriel figure. The other thing too that's nice about these is they are space conscious. 
So if you don't have a whole lot of room for figures, but you still want some FGO merch, um, these might be right up your alley because they don't take up a lot of space. So you can have these on a desk. You can have these pretty much anywhere. And then, boom, there you go. And you get this really nice little heavy-duty plastic thing if you need to smack somebody with it. They put that in there so that people can't feel out uh, what figures are in there because people would go around with mini scales and check so that they would get the same one. So these things actually act as a weight and they're all different sizes so each one of these will weigh the same regardless of what figure is in there. <coughs> so... Again, comes with all of the cards to play the game, which you need to download the instructions in English uh, because they just send these over. So, but overall, not a bad start. So let's see what we pick next. Um, we've only got, well, we've got Asterios. But this is gonna be this one's gonna be Karna, I think. Let's see, let's see how my gotcha luck holds up. This one is actually indeed Karna. See? Called it. Boom. Called it, boys, right there. Boom. Karna done. We won. Let's just stop rolling because we need to save our St. Courts for the third run of these so that we can get our luck. So we can get our luck for that one. Because I think... I think Jolter is in the third run. I should actually be getting those in soon. Now, this boy is spiky. This boy is so spiky, he is having a hard time getting out of this, uh, this bubble wrap because he just got stuck. Uh, now, this dude... There's a lot of spikes. He is he is one edgy, spiky boy. But that is some really, really good detail on that armor. Um, I'm actually really impressed with his uh, with his cowl as well. Um, even even the neck like embellishment of his um, his necklace is pretty well detailed. He's got some good pink variation in his hair. And uh, even though his cowl is, like, neon pink, it doesn't feel cheesy neon pink. Um, I don't know how else to explain that. But, like, I'm digging, too. Like, the face the face is super serious, very well detailed down here as well. Um, I do feel like if I, you know, handle this wrong, I'm going to break off these spikes because they are kind of small. But um, they overall are really really nice actually like this is a very solid like even if you look here on like the van braces like on the side it has like extra detail uh that goes down those van braces like they have put a lot of very good work and time into these feet dual figures like even the texture on his flame cow is is super well done like you can see down here and he has butt cheeks i mean they they even made him butt cheeks like how they've got to be like man you know what this boy needs this edgy boy needs some butt cheeks we're making him butt cheeks boys just perpetuates the male fantasy it does it does i'm fine with that male fantasy now this this uh his spear um, I, I just looking at it, I feel like I'm going to break it, putting it in his hand, but we'll see. I'm going to put him on his base first, which this is an interesting base, uh, stand cause it's like, oh, I see it goes in around his spikes. That's weird. Oh, because he stands, he'll stand this way. And the spear With his out. spear <coughs> in his hand here. That spear is definitely, 
if you if you move it wrong, it is going to it is going to snap. Uh, the spear is definitely a uh, not very sturdy for sure, but overall, uh, this is this is actually really really cool. I do need to maybe hammer him in here a little bit more because his front foot kind of is up off. But Carno, I'm hoping I get a second one because uh, I would be a big fan of the second one. I like how I do like how. I guess we could kind of move him this way a little bit. Let's move him over over here so that he lines up a bit more with with his symbol. Because I like the I like the forward like side stance like haha have at thee so that is that is number two of course again we get the cards with the cool karna art on it karna 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 chameleon you go over here All right, and this one is Asterios. Ooh, I like that he has his uh, that he has both of his um, axes. Axes. Big old fluffy axe boy. Ask you two questions. <laughs> Ask you two questions. Uh -huh. And I can already tell before I pull this out of here that he's got. Some stellar, stellar details on this figure. Oh yeah, that hair is good. Those giant arms are good. He's even got like the scars on his arms. Um, they're a little hard to see. You might not be able to pick them up in this video. But like right up on here, you've got like his scars on his arms. You've got scars down here on his legs. Um... You know, it's, overall, it's like, this is really pretty cool. Now, the one thing I will am a little disappointed in is, like, if you take a look here at the side of the front of the hair, there's, like, no real blending there. Um, the top of the hair is a little meh. Even if you're looking at it, like, straight on, it's not, like, hidden at all. Like, usually what they'll do is they'll take the, the front and they will make it a little bit higher so that it hides the hides the hair seam um so a little bit lazy on that um but overall uh, the eyes are really good the face is really good the um like i said the muscle the muscles like in the legs and stuff like that you can see like uh where he's like flexing a little bit and stuff like that the uh the actually detail in the feet is actually really really good so, um, and the detail here up on the hands, like the knuckles and everything, uh, where the shoulder, the, um, where the shoulder meets the, uh, the biceps, there's like really good detail in that. Seems like they put a lot of detail into everything except for his hair. Like even, even his beard matching into his hair is kind of, kind of mediocre. So, but let's get his axes out. Let's see how the quality of that is. I like, too, the fact that um, the bases are the rarity of the servant. So, like, since Asterios is a bronze servant, he gets a bronze base. <coughs> now, the heads of the uh, axes are pretty solid. I'm... I could just feel those pulling those out, that those are pretty, pretty solid axe heads. We'll see how the handles are. The, um, the pillar for his back, I think, goes in this way. Yeah, this makes sense, because it'll be... Yeah, there we go. Because he'll be another side stance boy. 
and I'm going to assume this goes through here first. And when you're putting in things that like go through the hand first, um, when you're pushing them through, uh, turn them because it'll make it a lot easier to get through there without like breaking. Because if you if you just push on them, uh, you'll have more pressure on the piece itself and it's more likely to deviate to the left or the right and break whereas if you turn as you go through uh, it'll make it a lot easier to get it through there now I will say that uh, that with these uh, they are not the most uh, sturdy handles um, and it is very likely that if you do put too much pressure on them, that they will absolutely break. Um, I would also be very weary of... Um, maybe I have the wrong... Head on here, because this one definitely doesn't seem to maybe it will yeah these are definitely a little a little weird uh, and once you get these once you get these axe heads on here good luck they are not coming off of there um, this one is not wanting to go on here all the way uh, and I'm not going to I'm not going to force it on there because I really don't want to break it right now. But overall, this is uh, this is uh, not bad. I do like the axes. Now, you can have him holding the axes this way. They'll hold still in the hand. Uh, you can have it further back, however you would like it, however it feels good for you. Uh, because at the end of the day... It's all about how you want it. Now, I know in-game he holds them a lot closer to the front, but you could have it offset like this because, let's be real, that looks kind of cool. Now, later on, I will try to wiggle that further on there, but I don't want to break this on video, so I'd be a little, a little upset if I did. But overall, that is a pretty decent-sized figure for $15 to $20. So, if I mean, I've paid a lot more for figures of that size, mostly like the Nell 4-inch figures. Um, there's some that are like crazy posable, and uh, they're really, really expensive. Now, we got Jean. We got Jean d'Arc. Uh, and I'm hoping that her flag is also not the flimsy it it doesn't feel very sturdy but we'll we'll find out on this episode of will it break now she does have good hair she has pretty good hair they did try to hide the seam but you can still see it uh, a little bit, but it's not as bad as the Asteros one. Now, she does have really, really good detail on her armor. Uh, her armor and her bust area, like, uh, kind of shawl thing that she's got rocking there, both, like, really good detail. Um, her sword is very flimsy, and since it is in a bag, it is going to need some, some you kind of holding it this way and like reshaping it to where it doesn't just like sit like weird and like curved back towards her so that's going to take like a little bit of massaging but be very careful because this is another piece that's going to be really delicate and snap if you put too much uh if you put too much pressure on it now it does have some pretty decent detail on it as well um but again, it's it's pretty flimsy. Um, they did everybody a favor and let's just get a nice little panty shot up in there. 
um, for all of those of you who are upset that Sieg stole your waifu in Apocrypha, um, you can now have your waifu and you can get yourself some panty shot on that. So take that, cardboard protagonist. Um, now, where is the thing that goes in her back? Okay, it's right up there. Now she's going to sit here and we're going to have the flag in her hand. So let's get this flag out of here. And see just how this feels. Now, um, I was wrong because this flag is actually quite sturdy. Uh, the flag itself, I thought, would maybe not be super sturdy, but um, yeah, I was wrong. And it is pretty decently painted as well. Uh, I like the detail on that. <coughs> now, the nice thing is, is that this comes with double stands. One for her, one for the flag. Like it should, actually. Because, I mean, that flag is going to probably be pretty top-heavy, and this tiny little thing is not going to be able to hold up that whole, that whole flag. Now, her key in her back is a little bit close to her hair, so be a little careful when you put that in there. Um, because you do have to move her hair over, and it would probably suck if you snapped her ponytail off. Now, this pro probably should have put this in her hand before I put her on this base, because that probably would have made sense. Now, we'll go here. We're going to put this on there, and yeah, as much as that could hold that up, uh, it's definitely, it would definitely break after a certain point. Now we're going to bring this over here. Um, although it's weird because this is like keyed to go this way. Let me pop this. Can I move this? No. Man, with these FGO dual figures, once you set it, it is, it is in there. Like, it, these things do not want to come out, like, at all. And the thing is, is this is supposed to stand straight. And, you know what, maybe, hold on, maybe I have these in the wrong, in the wrong holes. Because I feel like this one... The flag would shoots be behind bad, your head. Yeah. So it would be over on that side. Now let's see if I can actually get this out of here without breaking it. No, because this side, this one is keyed to a certain direction, and it wouldn't fit in that one. So do I have to just move her? Oh, okay, I, I see how maybe it's supposed to go this way. Haha, -ha, we'll figure it out. That's teamwork there we go all right so we got it we got it she's standing she's good we have this flag here we are all set now like i said overall the handle of this is a little bit flimsy but uh with the flag stand you should be perfectly fine. And the nice thing is, is the flag, it's grooved. So the flag literally is like sitting in that stand. It's keyed in there. Uh, and we are good to go. But like I said, once you like set these things, they are pretty hard to pull out of there. It is pretty hard to pull out. Now Which we haven't lost 1% of the battery in the 24 <coughs> minutes we've been filming. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Hey, you know what? If it's filming, it's filming. That is fine. So, apparently, from what the internet tells me, is Saber Lily is rare. Uh, you shouldn't get a Saber Lily. It's like one in every, like, ten or twenty boxes. But this is literally, I've pulled two out of two Saber Lily. So, I guess, like, all of my gotcha luck is in Fate Grand Order dual boxes. 
So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open this. If you would like to see what Saber Lily looks like, uh, you can go check out my other video that is down in the description. Um, and with that said, if you would like to buy a Saber Lily, there may be one for sale. So since I already have one from literally the first one, now if I pull a Saber Lily out of like the third box of FGO duels then I'm just going to be like, there's no way that this is a rare. Although I've I've sold boxes to people, and they haven't pulled Saber Lilies. So maybe maybe just all of my gotcha luck is just in FGO duels. And as expected, the last one is going to be Caster God Giles. Caster Giles DeRay. And, wow, his his butt key is down very, very low. This is a very small butt key. He does not have much extra, but let's see how his detail is. Um, so, overall, like, first, first real impression is uh, they didn't really put a lot of detail in his face. Um, with him, really a lot of him is his face, is his weird, creepy bug eyes, is, you know, is all of that. And, like, while you can still kind of make it out, it's really not very detailed. Like, they could have done a lot more with the eyes. Um, the book is really good. The book is actually detailed. You've got, like, the blood veins and stuff in his other hand. You've got the rings, like his uh, his cowl and everything is actually really, really well crafted. Uh, but just the face is really not that great. Uh, overall, everything else is actually pretty fantastic on him as a whole. Um, I just wish that they would have spent a little bit more time fleshing out the eyes um, and the face on this one. So, uh, But this is pretty solid. It's a pretty solid figure. Um, can't complain too much about it at the end of the day. Um, they only have so much to work with on some of these smaller ones. However, it is disappointing that they do put a lot of work into some of the other faces. Not so much on him. Uh, that is a little, little bit of a downside. So there you go. When you get the whole box, you get all of these figures. Um... I'd have to say, out of all of these, um, Asterios and Karna are actually my favorites. I really like the just hefty axes that Asterios has. Um, this is, like, I would pay $15 for this figure, no problem. Like, if this were, like, if this were just sitting out and someone was like, hey, do you want to buy this little mini fig for 15 bucks?" Like, this is a good-sized figure for 15 to $20. Same with Karna. Um, Jean is good. Uh, Uriel and Jill DeRay, Caster, uh, leave me a little bit wanting. Um, but overall, not bad for a whole set. And we apparently got EX Luck and pulled a second uh, Saber Lily. So, um, yeah. And, I mean, it comes with, like I said, it comes with all of the cards. So... If you do want to play the game, you have the cards, everything like that. You can go to the site and download the English rules, a play mat, play mat everything like that. I wish that, like, some of these, like... If you bought, like, the box, like, the full box, you got, like, a play mat or something like that. Uh, that would be actually a really good idea, um... Because, I mean, if you're investing in a whole box, like, you should get a playmat. Or even if you're, like, a vendor, you could be like, oh, hey, you know, I have playmats. If somebody's like, hey, can I just snag a playmat from you? But like, yeah, sure, it came with the box, you know, something like that. Uh, because, I mean, otherwise you have to somehow get one. I actually don't know how you get one. Um, I know that they give them out at, like, shows and events and stuff like that, but I haven't seen one, so... But anyways, guys, that was the second um, second set of FGO duels. 
Uh, once I get the third set, I will do another unboxing of those. And if I pull another Saber Lily, um, yeah, I don't know. My EX luck will continue on these. But I hope you guys like this. If you did, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Thank you.